Welcome to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today, Chicken Madras it is, guys. So this is a proper British Indian restaurant style Chicken Madras dish. Here you go. Lovely, thick sauce, almost hugging the chicken. Now you're gonna have this amazing recipe if you watch till the end. And if you enjoy what I do, guys, press the like button, it does really help. And also, if you haven't, make sure to hit the subscribe as well as the notification for new videos and show some love by supporting me at Latif's Inspired and watch till the end for this amazing recipe, British Indian restaurant style chicken madras. Beautiful. Beautiful people. Here are all my ingredients. I'll go through all of them while I'm making the videos. Look at those chilies. Beautiful. The onions, cut nice and big th uh, thick pieces because we're gonna mash it up. Some garam masala pureed some tomatoes ginger garlic lemon or chicken i'm using chicken thighs people chicken thighs is more flavor rather than chicken breast it's going to be delicious let's crack on bismillah one tablespoon of ghee people four tablespoon of just vegetable oil right people the oil has heated up we're going to use a bangladeshi test butter which is the bay leaf uh, cassia bark, which is just one bark, about just over a couple of inches. And we've got two cardamom. This is gonna give a lovely fragrance and flavor. Bismillah. So this is two onions that have been cut up. There you go. It's not, um, it's nice and thick pieces. What happens is it's gonna, it's gonna soften up and become nice and gooey. And we're gonna use a mashed potato to just smash these uh, onions. Bismillah. We're going to use some ginger, a good heat teaspoon. I love garlic. We're going to use about one and a half teaspoon of garlic, people. Some salt, about one good teaspoon, people. That waft, that ghee, that caramelized onion, that ginger and garlic. This is wonderful. Want everything to soften up and then we're going to go to the uh, next step. There you go people, it's caramelizing wonderfully, it's been a few minutes. Now some of the ginger and garlic has caught on the pan, so a drizzle of water. This is going to help soften up all these lovely onions. Wow, it smells divine, very aromatic. You have to go through this process in order for all that flavor. I mean, these ingredients, it's all about flavor. You can chuck them in all at once. However, if you go through these process, it's actually gonna elevate your curries to a next level. So all we uh, intention for, uh, for uh, is basically um, just to soften up all the onions, which we are gonna try. So this process takes about six to 10 minutes and I've lowered the gas on a medium, so I let it simmer, let the onion soften up, and we'll come back to it shortly. Whack a lid on. This is gonna create that steam, which is gonna soften up uh, the onions. It's gonna be wonderful. Right, people, so it's been a good eight to 10 minutes since I put the onions in a little bit of water. There you go, the oil has separated, the water has evaporated. Now, let's make the ruby murray with the spices. Right people, so this is Madras chili powder. There's difference with uh, Kashmiri chili powder. This is basically like a paprika style chili. It's, it's like chilies with steroids on the color, not the heat. So this is very uh, mild, but however, it's gonna create a wonderful color, which we're gonna use. Right, so two teaspoon of Madras extra hot chili powder. If you want this to be like Vindaloo, add four of these guys. And if you're crazy, you want far, then you know, whacking about six to eight, however you fancy. Half a teaspoon of turmeric, uh, two, two teaspoon of coriander, ground coriander powder, and one, uh, two teaspoon of uh, Madras curry powder. And this is one teaspoon of cumin. So this is gonna generate all those amazing flavors, people. Bismillah. That's the Kashmiri I'm using. This is like probably one and a half teaspoon. Give that a wonderful color. Give it a nice little mix on that hot oil. It's just, just basically wakes it up. 
Now, sometimes if you cook this too much on a hot oil, it can become bitter if you overcook it. So this is just to liven it up. And I've pureed about, uh, this is about three medium sized uh, tomatoes, just over a, a, a cup of uh, tomatoes. Bismillah. This is gonna create a nice thick gravy, which I'm looking to create because I'm not using obviously the base gravy. So these are the little secret tips that I can give you guys. There you go, look at that. So if you enjoy what I do guys, I do appreciate it if you press a like and a nice comment. And if you share these ingredients, I'd really appreciate it. Makes it worthwhile for me to stay on YouTube. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button as well as a notification. So that was on a low. Whack it up now. Now let's boon everything together. And come to a nice little thickness. Come back to it in a minute or so. Right people, my onions have softened up. Normally uh, how my mother would do it is before the spices, which I should have done, but I don't usually do this method. I'm just showing you guys, because I know not everybody makes the base gravy and it's like it's a big massive batch isn't it so this one pot is ideal for like a saturday night or friday night curry to get that authenticity as well as that british indian restaurant style so this is going to be hopefully your solution to a cheaper takeaway and obviously much better because you're cooking everything nice and fresh so if you've only used this for mashed potato guys, you use it for mashed onions and tomatoes. This curry paste, this paste is awesome. You don't need to buy Patak's curry paste. This is what I'm talking about. All the spices, everything. And lower the gas. Remember, don't make the onions too thin because you can't mash it up like this. There you go. Wonderful. It's about 500 grams of chicken. I've used uh, chicken um, thigh pieces. I love the flavor. I mean, the colors is wonderful. This is much better than chicken breast. But if you're watching your figure, then obviously go for the chicken breast. If you're not, if you want flavor, this is the one. Chicken thigh, bismillah. It's gonna be a lovely thick sauce in the end, I promise you. Crank up the heat. Put the lid back on. Chicken's gonna release a lot of liquid. So we'll come and check up on it shortly. Right people, so it's been a good eight to 10 minutes since I've added the chicken. It's released a fair bit of liquid. As you can see, some of the oil is separating. It's on a sort of medium low gas. Lovely thick gravy guys. Right, madras usually comes with a bit of citrus. So wedge of lemon juice. I like it a bit sour. I like to have that tanning. Gorgeous, there you go. The citrus is just gonna elevate that spice. It's gonna bring it out. This is a lovely boona of the madras. Wonderful. Now, if you like your curries thick, you don't need any water, however, I am going to put a bit of water and then simmer it down for all those flavours to marry up. So that's a cup of water. Perfect. So this cup of water is going to be reduced down. And put the gas to a medium high. We'll come back to it in five minutes or so. Right people, so the curry's been simmering away for about 5-6 minutes on this um, sort of high gas. Now we've given it a mix in it uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Wow, check that out. There you go, that oil has separated wonderfully. See it there? So this, doesn't this look like as if it's done in the restaurant? But better I promise this is wonderful so I always say when it's that custard consistency that's ideal 
taste for seasoning, but I'm 100% sure it is correct. Enough level of spice, enough salt. There you go when you see those little bubbles there. Bob's your uncle, done. Garam masala for a bit of fragrance and an oomph. Beautiful. Dried kasuri methi. Lovely, slight bit bitter umami. Fresh coriander. Voila. Work of art. Wouldn't you agree? Now if you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button. Or else. There you go. And if you like what I do, if you like my tips and my recipes, make sure to subscribe. Wonderful. Dish is ready. Turn the gas off. Plate up. Beautiful people, chicken madras using chicken thighs, thick spicy sauce, that lemon is going to bring a lovely citric flavour, fresh chapatis and some chilies if need so. Right people, so this is the chicken madras, I've got my lovely chapati, let's give it a taste, mouth is watering, you know that spicy food? Makes you just salivate. Oh, look at that. See it there? The sauce is hugging the chicken. It's in love. See it there? Wonderful. Let's give this a taste. Bismillah. Mm. Wow. That sour just brings out our spice, that thick sauce, tomato, that gooey tomato and onion, all those flavors. Wow, the cumin, the coriander, loads of chili in there, the redness from the Kashmiri chili powder. But the secret ingredient is that lemon, I promise you. Nice, juicy, ripe lemon with that citrus just brings out all those spices. This is amazing curry guys. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos at Latisse Inspired. I'm gonna enjoy this, so see you soon for the next one.